Hello, everybody. My name is Bong Su Gum, and I have been working at National Information Society Agency as an executive director. It is so honorable for me to introduce Korean economic policy for overcoming COVID-19. My speech is composed of three parts. Firstly, I am going to explain the influence of COVID-19 in Korea and global. Secondly, the overview of Korean New Deal is introduced. Lastly, I will deal with digital New Deal as a special way to overcome COVID-19 in Korea. Until November 3rd, COVID-19 patients are over 26,472 passed away. The fatality rate in Korea is 1.76%. By comparison, the number of global patients touched over 47 million people. More than 1 million people died, and the fatality rate is 2.56%. After COVID-19 happened to our life, almost all of the countries have been keeping social distance policies, and it is quickly changing our lifestyle to non-contact. As a result, not only elementary, middle, and high schools, but also most universities were closed and opened online channels to educate students at home. For white colors, they work at home using Zoom for video calls instead of working at their office. So far, people worried about natural disasters like Earth cake or yellow dust, but after spreading COVID-19 to worldwide, it is impossible to sustain normal life. Human beings have to concern about infectious disease. Naturally, governments have to care and implement crisis monitoring system, advanced warning system, and development of medicine and vaccine, etc. As you have already experienced in your daily life, you should wear masks when you go out for any reason. And when you wait for taking a bus, you also should stand in the line, keeping social distance. This slide shows us global economic shock caused by COVID-19. In accordance with the IMF, the present economic status is the worst since the Great Depression between 2007 and 2009. The OECD and WTO also published that the economic recession nearly reached over 10% and global trade significantly shrinked. In case of Korea, as soon as COVID-19 proliferated, domestic demand was suddenly shocked including retail sales and service industries. Furthermore, exports also decreased so fast during the second quarter. Not surprisingly, this, recruit, this result caused the increasing unemployment rate and SMEs have been continuously collapsed. Concerning the global economy outlook after COVID-19, Wall Street Journal forecasted a Nike logo shaped recovery. In other words, it means that economic recovery would take longer than V shaped and slower than U shaped. As a result, global economy will be more difficult than we hope in near future. The Korean New Deal is a kind of new national development strategy for overcoming economic difficulties in Korea and leading global economy in the post-COVID era. The objectives of this strategy are to minimize economic shock by creating jobs, 
quickly to get back to normal growth and to build a foundation for adapting and reading structural changes. First part is a digital new deal to spearhead digital innovation economy. Second is a green new deal for acceleration of transition to eco-friendly and low carbon economy. Third is stronger safety nets, including investment in employment, social security programs, and human resources. Except for stronger safety nets, the major projects of Korean New Deal are categorized into three parts, digital, convergence, and green. In digital part, there are projects like Data Dam, Intelligent AI Government, and Smart Health Care. And in digital and green convergence, green and smart school, digital twin, making SOC digital, and smart and green industrial complex projects are included. Digital New Deal are consisted of four areas and 12 projects. The area of strengthening DNA, data, network, and AI. Ecosystem is to build, open, and use data sets which are closely related to citizens' daily life and to expand 5G AI convergence to all industries and to make a 5G and AI-driven intelligent government. The second area is to digitize educational infrastructure, which includes installing digital-driven educational system in all schools. The third area is to promote non-contact industries, for example, building smart health care infrastructure and supporting e-business in SMEs. Last area is the digitized SOC, such as promoting digital innovation of urban and industrial spaces and building a framework for smart logistics. Totally, Korean government has a plan to invest about $39.5 billion and create 903,000 jobs by 2025. Data is the core power to boost the false industrial innovation. So data-driven innovative enterprises such as IBM, Google, and Airbnb are correcting, accumulating, and analyzing data from lots of clients and using it to read the innovation in global market. Considering this trend, Korean government plans to build 16 big data platforms and 150 big data centers and to install a big data network for linking those platforms and centers to each other. The fields these platforms applied are transport, logistics, and consumption, environment, and so on. The main function of big data platform is to establish the foundation for correction, distribution, and utilization of data, and to progress standardization of metadata for more standardized data, and interface with the platform in each area. Furthermore, the important function of big data center is to create and develop good qualified data sets with high utilization value and to make a data distribution system through the platforms. AI advanced countries such as the US and European countries have already accumulated and opened huge data by corporations and common investment for the sake of AI technology development. More than 300 categorized AI data sets have been shared with universities, global companies, and research institutions, 
and have reached to make an ecological system. Even though Korean ICT industry level is comparatively inferior to advanced countries, Korean government is about to follow those countries with rapid qualified AI data set accumulation. Korean government have a plan to develop about 1,300 different types of AI learning data set by 2020. To increase the utility of AI learning data set, Korean government is building the data set in reflection of technology trends, demands, and plans, enhance the development of application services based on AI learning data, and also considers development of data and creation of jobs based on crowd sourcing. Open Data Youth Internship is also one of the digital new deal projects. Because of COVID-19, the demand of global market as well as domestic consumption is also shrinked so fast. It is a natural phenomenon to happen to rise unemployment rate. As a result, Korean government was developing public data open, data quality improvement through the youth internship. The government recruits about 8,000 people and train them data skills like data opening, quality assessment, and error modification and data analysis. Until now, more than 6,000 people finished this course and were dispatched to 740 public institutions. The government supports these authorized people to get new jobs in ICT or related industrial fields. In April 2019, 5G service was launched for the first time in the world in Korea, and so far the 5G subscribers reaches over 7 million people. Based on this market growth, Korean government is building 5G-based network for government working system. Now, government officers work in only their seats at the office. But when AI-based government working system is ready, they can work anytime any place and any with device permitted by government security. It is important to make government policy decision that security must be guaranteed. This project is adjusting mobile etching computing on the basis of cloud service and network slicing technology to solve security issues. Generally, SOC includes road, rail, airport, seaport, water pipes, and so on. Government has always to manage, monitor, and improve them, but it is so difficult to check them real time because of physical structure. For example, it is not possible to dig the entire water pipelines for checking water leak. As a result, the government attaches IoT sensors to water pipes on the ground and makes the same digital map to easily find broken or leaking points. So far, the government has installed public Wi-Fi access points at almost 35,000 places, including parks and markets where people gather frequently. Moreover, the Wi-Fi has also built in over 27,000 buses to decrease mobile spend of households. The government has improved wired and wireless network in elementary, middle, and high schools to vitalize future public educational service in which VR, AR technologies can be utilized in the classroom. The government will build wireless access points in 336,000 classrooms of more than 12,000 schools nationwide, and it expects to create 
9,600 jobs. Even though the government is carrying out Korean digital U deal in nationwide, obviously it causes digital divide too. Furthermore, because of COVID-19, non-contact culture has been routinized in our daily life. So nowadays, it is very common to use kiosks and mobile apps to prevent and overcome the digital divide in the groups of the old, the disabled, and the poor government simultaneously cares about not only promotion and transformation of digital, but also resolving digital divide. As a result, the government is building 1,000 digital capacity centers in neighborhood and providing comprehensive education programs customized for all citizens. This is the end of my speech. Thank you very much for listening. If you have any questions about status of digital unit of Korean government, please don't hesitate to email me.